In this open shot tutorial I will show you how to blur a moving face or object by creating a mask in an image editor. I should be using GIMP to create the mask and I've also assumed that you have some basic knowledge of editing in OpenShot. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've set this up in the advanced editor mode and I've also placed the clip in track 1. Now the first thing you'll need to think about is what point you want to start blurring. I'm going to keep this tutorial quite straightforward. So with the marker at frame 1, what I'm going to do is just below the monitor, you should see a button it says save current frame. Left click on this, decide where you're going to save the frame, you're actually saving an image and assuming you haven't got anything called frame 0001PMG you shouldn't need to change this but select where you're going to save it. So I'm, for ease I'm going to just save it on my desktop. I'm going to open up GIMP Now I'm going to go through this assuming you haven't got much experience or any experience in GIMP. So if you just come over to File, left click on File, and then select Open. Go to where the image is stored. So mine's on my desktop. And just select Open. And this will bring an image of your video. Or the, uh, the image you saved from your video. The first thing you need to do, generally this should work okay, but just select layer and next to transparency just make sure add alpha channel is selected. It will be sort of greyed out. So if it's selected fine, if not just select add alpha channel. Okay. To the right of the screen, look for something called Create a Duplicate of the Layer and Add to the Image. And this will create a duplicate of the actual um, image. You're going to be using this so you can see what you're working with. Make sure that the top image is selected. Come over to Select and then Select All. Right click on the image and next to Edit, select cut. And what this will do is give you a clear um, image. You can just check this by um, clicking on the eye next to the bottom uh, frame or image. And this will give you a clear. You can see this is clear. Okay, I'm going to put this back into view. Over on the left hand side you'll see a couple of boxes. One's white, one's black. There's an arrow next to it which says exchange foreground and background colors. Left click on this so the blacks above the white and then what you need to do is select the paintbrush. Now the hardness setting will be something like point uh, sorry 75 so drag this all the way up to 100 and also you need to select what brush you're going to use. I'm going to be using the brush next to the sort of solid black brush. It's got a, a slightly um, faded edge to it. If you can't see this box you can left click on this up here. So make sure this one is selected. Then place your pointer over the face and obviously the circle's too small so I'm going to drag it up in size. It's about 170 in this case. And for this tutorial this will do left click and that will put a dot over or a black circle over the face. Select the image below, right click and then delete layer. Come up to the top of the screen under file you need to select export as. Now it should 
basically say you're going to export into your desktop but obviously you've already got something called frame 0001 PNG so what I would do is create another title so call it something like mask and make sure it says mask.png if you have to change it back just left click on select file type by extension and you should find your PNG in here somewhere but anyway it's already set up as PNG so all I'm going to do now is select export I'm going to drag the compression level down to zero and export top of the screen under file select quit and also you can just dis discharge changes and we're back to open shot drag your image or your mask into the project files box now before bringing it into track 2 what I would do is I would just go to the end of this um, clip by selecting jump to end bring the mask in snap it up to the beginning hold your pointer over the edge and just drag it so that it's past the timeline marker right click and next to slice select keep left side and come back to the beginning place your pointer over your mask then right click and select transform Now you can do a lot of things. You can change the size of this. Um, you can, basically, it's it's practice really. So I'm going to do a very simple um, blur of this chap's face as he moves about. Um, if say there was somebody coming from this, say this lady here, if she was here and you wanted to have a smaller, um, I don't know, blur and an increase in size. You, I, I would change the sizes from it to both ends. So it's not that easy to explain this. So that's that's why I'm going to keep this simple, and hopefully it'll give you some idea of how to do this. Okay. So this dots over this chap's face. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my right arrow key and just come along by hitting it five times. Now he hasn't moved that much, so I could move this and it would set up what they call keyframes. But I'm just going to show you how to set the keyframes up um, without it doing it automatically because you might have to put some more in on your video. So in the location just right click and then left click insert keyframe and do the same on location Y insert keyframe. Okay, well I'm going to come along another five frames, and he has moved just a bit. So, with your pointer over the middle, just move this to cover the face again. And again, five frames, and he's moved back a bit. I'm going to rush this so it won't be perfect. In fact, I'll carry on through this and come back to it when I've finished. Okay, well I've created a series of keyframes and I'll just play it to see what it's doing. It's not perfect because I've rushed through this. You can uh, play around with this um, if you wanted to. I don't know if we came here, if this needed to be moved a bit, you can carry on adjusting and it'll place another keyframe. So I'll just play this through. Yeah, there's one point there where he perhaps moved out of frame there so you just keep going until you're happy with what you got I'm not gonna go into any too much detail but as you can see it will do so 
the first thing you need to do is just go ahead and render your video I'm going to leave it as Untitled Project on my desktop because there's nothing else called Untitled Project on my desktop and I'll just export the video and I'll come back to this when it's finished OK, once your video is finished rendering obviously left click done and bring it back into the editor first thing I'm going to do right click on my mask and left click remove go back to the beginning and drag the blur effect over the video left click on the letter B and you can adjust the blur to suit. I'm not going to change anything here just to save a bit of time so I'm going to leave this at 6, 3, 3 and 6. You can do what you want with it. Um, now bring in your clip with the black dot over it. What you're looking for is the chroma key it says chroma key green screen drag this over the top clip and you should end up with a blurred background select the letter C and it will bring up the properties now in the fuzzy box you will have to adjust this I it, and also it will not be 100% perfect if you're looking for perfect you'll need to work with a more advanced video editor I have got some tutorials using Blender which will automatically track someone's face in my playlist but anyway all I'm going to do here where it says fuzz 5 I'm going to left click and type in 100 hit return and that should improve it to a certain extent and that's basically all there is to it if your computer is anything like mine it won't play it perfectly but I would just go through it using the arrow key right arrow left arrow just to make sure it's okay and then go ahead and render again and that's really all there is to it hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers